Mm -hmm. The video's on? Mm-hmm. All right. I've been having problems with my headlight shutting off. And I did all kinds of checks, and I couldn't really find a good video, so I decided to make one on my own because I found a blog that talked about your start switch also controlling your headlight because it it shuts it off to send more power to your starter when you start it and then it's supposed to come back on when it makes contact so all I did here there's two screws on here this is a Honda Shadow 1100 Sabre there's two screws under here I took out already you need to be able to see so I got the screws out now another thing that was in here was right there can you see the little hole by my thumb up there get close yeah that little hole right there there was a, a bracket there that I already took off all right now I put everything back together so I could shoot this video there's a screw down in there can you get in a little closer yeah that screw right there by my thumb you need to unscrew that so you can get the actual start switch out so I only have it in a little bit I'm gonna take that screw out don't laugh this is my first video all right now once you get it out the plug pushes through the housing and see the housing comes off by itself and you can see it's dirty it's got water in it bike's been outside in the weather and I think that's my biggest problem um, Let me get this screw out so we don't lose it. All right, the, the, the thing is, this contact is inside here. Can you see that? It looks black to me. This contact is in there. And if you look to the side, they got little plastic clips on both sides. There's four of them. So what I did early, I didn't clean it up or anything yet. You can see how it's all dirty and wet and whatever. But what you need to do is real gently get your screwdriver in there and see it'll pop open. But be careful because sometimes these things are brittle and you could break the plastic. Alright. Stop laughing at me. Alright. Here's my actual um, contact right there and you see it's got a spring. Now to get that apart, I just push on it a little bit and lift it up, and it's a spring. The spring don't have a lot of tension on it, but you don't want to lose it. You need it. It just sits in there. It just sits in there like that. This is the contact is on the switch. There's two right there, and if you flip it over, there's a ball. And the only thing I can think about this ball is to make that the contact point that slides. It doesn't. It doesn't touch a contact. I'm, I'm thinking that's just help it slide good. All right. So as you can see, it's dirty, full of, it's wet. The spring has some kind of oil on it. I don't know if it's supposed to be on there or not, but I'm going to clean it all off. Um. So what I need to do with this is clean it up real good and maybe scrape that in two prone contactor right there a little bit. Get it cleaned up because it's, it is dirty. All right, so I'm going to put that to the side. Now, get a closer on there. Now, I don't know if you can see it real good, but this is the side that's facing you when you take it apart. It's all dirty and full of grit and water and everything else. But if you flip it over, you can see this. Back it up so I can see. Okay, you can see that there's four contactors on here. All right. Um, I'm thinking one of them's for my headlight. I don't know which one. Um, I don't know which one. I would have to look at the wires, but I got a set of two at the bottom and a set of two at the top. I'm thinking one of them, either top or bottom, is for the headlight, and um, the the other one would be for the starter. Now, on top of this, my my I've been having a problem. My horn's not working. My headlight went out on me, come back on its own, then went out and it hasn't come back on yet. My start switch is still working, but 
you press it and there's a pause and next thing you know it grabs and starts and blah 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 so I'm thinking it's fixing to go out anyway what I'm gonna do is just clean this up real good clean up these contactors and 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 put it all back together now I didn't take the switch up here apart it's got cables on it and stuff but I'll have to look at that but right now I'm just gonna clean it up so all right thank you Bye. all right we restarted the video because I took and I cleaned this up and I just took a little bitty of sandpaper and kind of scrape you know on there a little bit I didn't want to scrape it too much because it does have to make contact and if you can see this piece uh, I took it apart like I showed y'all earlier like that and I, I cleaned the two contactors right there and cleaned up the spring now it looks like it um it, it it looked like it had some type of electrical oil in it maybe to keep it from corroding or whatever I don't have any so what I'm gonna do is you know um, spray a little bit of WD-40 on here just to disperse the water that gets in there from sitting out in the weather all the time um, and that's it so I'm gonna put it back together and all I'm gonna do is because they got four prongs two on each side of this and I'm gonna stick it if you can see right here these two prongs I'm gonna stick the back side in there that and then just push it down like that and it clips back into place all right and then you just reverse the process and stick your switch back in your housing and screw it all together so now I'm gonna pause it again and get this put back together and we're gonna see if it corrected the problems I'm having all right do it it's on oh all right guys so when I first put this back together I was getting no connection and I think what I did on, on my plug here when I cleaned the contact is I think I might have pushed a little too hard and bent them so if you remember on this connection they had the two prongs what I did was bend them up a little bit to make a good contact and now let me move my hat as you can see when I turn my my lights on I mean my key on I got my bright light on and, and now I have a light signal showing that my headlights working which it is because I went around and checked it and my keys working every time I hit it so, like I said, that fixed that problem. Fix my starter problem. Duke, go lay down. Fix my starter problem, and it fixed my headlight problem. I still don't have a horn, so what I'm going to do is go over here to my horn connection. I'm going to take it apart. And I'm going to see if that solves my horn problem because I used to play with it like this. And at one time I got it to beep a little bit. So I'm thinking it's the same problem. But that'll be another video. This production has been brought to you by Sons of Revolution MC. <laughs> with my wife Sparkles as the camera person. <laughs> we thank y'all. This is our first video. I really hope it helped y'all. Thank you. Have a good day. Bye.